Good day everyone, this is Coach Mech of Gurung Pinoy and today's topic is setting up your Google Classroom. As we all know, nowadays teachers all over the world are being asked to set up online teaching or online classrooms for all their students because of the pandemic which is called COVID-19. So today, I will be showing you how to set up your Google Classroom in case you'd want to assign assignment or some work to work to your students it is very easy to use your classroom okay so first and foremost all you need to do is to just open a tab in any of your browsers okay and then you need to sign into your Google account so all you need to do is to have a Google account okay if you don't have any Google account yet it's still very easy to make okay so if you don't have one where you can just sign into it you can just create a new Google account, okay? So for example, I'll try creating a Google account here. Just write your name, say I use Hazel, last name Caberoy, okay? And then I use, for example, H Caberoy 21 at gmail.com. And then you can just use any password that you'd want to use. Okay, so you can just make your own password. Say I use this password. All right, so again for your password, it says here use eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, or symbols. All right, now once you already have your uh, certain data like your name, your email address, you can just make your phone number or you can just put your phone number now make sure that you put in a valid phone number because they are going to verify it you should make sure that your telephone number is with you or your your phone is with you all right say i write Okay, click next. You can just skip this and click I agree. All right, so now I already have a brand new Google account. Okay, so it says welcome Hazel Cabiroy. Now once you have signed into your Google account, just click this sign right here. Okay, the one with a lot of dots here and says Google Apps. You can just choose the different uh, things that you can work with using Google here and you'll find classroom here at the bottom okay so click that click classroom and it will take you to this site here this is for Google classroom already all right so again it says classroom helps classes communicate save time and stay organized okay so this was the Gmail that I made so I'll just click continue now we are going to create our first class okay so just click the plus sign here to create your class and click create class okay so it says here if uh using classroom at a school with students okay so say i say um i've read and understood the above notice and i'm not using classroom at a school with students okay but if your school has already signed up for G, G suite for education then this is also going to be very helpful okay so just click continue then just write your class name say i write special science class section one two subject science and room you can just leave it blank or if you, you if you want you can also put your room there okay so say I say room 101 and click create okay so Google classroom is now creating your class all right so this is your online classroom now for your special science class 
Okay, and it says here what's new in classroom. You can see students grade for all assignments, etc. etc. Alright. Now if you want to make more classrooms, then you can just click this three lines here. Okay, you can go back to your classes and just click the plus sign again. Okay, now we go back to your special science class. Now it is very easy for you to communicate with your class here. Say I write, I make an announcement. Okay, so I say good morning. Welcome to our classroom. Okay, now this is only for my special science class since I only have one class at the moment. You can choose whether to send this to all students or if you already have the names of the students, then you can just choose specific students that you'd want to read this, this announcement. Now you can also add some picture if you want to or you can also add some YouTube video or YouTube or, or some file. Let's say I'd want to add a video, then you can just type. So say I write special science. Okay, click search. Okay, and you can see a lot of different videos here. Okay, so you can just choose any of the videos that you have there. Say I choose this and I click add. Okay, so that video is now added to your announcement. Now you also have the option to post this real time. So if you click post, that means all the students at that time can already see your announcement. Or you can also schedule this. Okay, so say I'd want to post this tomorrow at 8 a.m., then you can also do that. Okay, you can just click schedule. If not, then you can just click post. Okay, now it's also very easy here to give out assignments to your students. Let's say you click classwork. I'll just discard this. So click classwork, then create an assignment for your student. So I click create assignment then say I write the words exercise one okay and then I give out the instructions please answer this activity okay so again this is just for my special science class all students and then I can also set the date here okay so say I set the date until uh, Friday, May 22nd. Time, you can just skip that because that's optional. So that means the student still has until Friday to complete this assignment. You can also create a topic, say you write introduction. Okay, then you can add a rubric if you choose to. Okay, now if you have some activities that you'd want to add, which are stored in your Google Drive, then you can just click Add here. You can also click a file that is in your computer. Okay, say I click Google Drive. And since I have no other files here, I'll just choose this for now. Okay, now you have the option whether you'd only want the students to view this or the students may edit this or you can also choose make a copy for each student if you choose to make a copy for each student the student can just easily answer in that same file okay so they can just edit and write or type their answer in that file okay so again the same thing you can assign this real time or you can also choose to schedule this okay say i'd want to schedule this tomorrow at 8 a.m so I'll just click schedule okay now if there is something that you've forgotten then you can just easily edit the assignment okay so you say you'd want to change the due date and time or you want to change anything in your instructions the title anything that you'd want to change in this certain assignment then you can just edit it just go back to your assignment okay so as you can see, this is a topic that's introduction. If you can create different topics, then you may do so. Now I am going to show you my actual Google Classroom that I use for my other account. 
All right, so this is how my classroom looks like. Okay, so this is these are my actual classroom that I use in teaching my students. Okay, so that I can show you the different parts of it. All right, so say in my case, I have several classes. So I have physical science first block, then physical science honors, then physical science fourth block, and the rest of my classrooms here. Okay, so say I pick physical science honors. All right. Now, these are the different announcements that I've made. As you can see, some of my students have also commented here. So you can just easily communicate with your students here. Okay, very important announcement. Announcement. And my classwork can already be found. And they are actually already organized. Okay, so you can organize your classwork depending on the topic that you've made. Okay, so there's introduction to science, matter, there's matter part two, there's chemical bonds. Now, you can easily just meet with your students now using Google. Okay, you, you call it uh, Google Meeting. Okay, so you can just have a virtual meeting with all of your students by using that. If all of your students have their own internet access at home and you'd want them to join your class, you can simply just give them the class code okay so you can simply just give them the class code or invite them to join your classroom okay so this is the general class code all right now what else do we have here okay you can see the different people here if you are working with another teacher then you can also click invite teachers here and very easily, you can just type a name or an email and if, invite that person to co-manage the class with you. Okay, so these are the different students that I have. If I want to add a student, I can also just click invite and write the email address of the student. Okay, so these are the different students that I have. Again, once you create your assignment, question, material, whatever, you have the option to give it to all of your students or you can just click the different students that you have here okay so again there you can just edit the due date you can just make an assignment fall into certain topics if you want to make another topic then just create topic okay now it is also very easy to check your students work using Google Classroom. Okay, so for example, these are some of the work of my students. You can see who did not turn in and who turned in their work. Okay, so say I open one classwork, say this one. Okay, I can see that none of my students have turned them in recently because I've actually already graded 17 of them. There's just two, six other students who did not turn this in. Okay, so I can easily just see by clicking on the six assigned, I can see who among my students did not complete their work. I can also see the work of my students that were already graded. Okay, so if someone turned it in out of the six here, for example, my isang nag turn in ng work, this will become one turned in here and five assigned. Now, how do I check? It's also very easy to check this. You can just go to grades and you can see the different assignments that you have here. And say, I look at the work of my students. So I write view submission. I click view submission. And this is the work of my student. Okay, so the answer right into the document. Okay, so agenda yung lahat ng answers nila. I'll just write the grade. If someone turned this in a while ago, I can just click status and you can see your students' names arranged according to the status of their assignment. So I can still see those people who did not turn it in because it says assign. Okay, so you can just easily check it. Just scroll from one student to another and check their work okay then write the score here then you can just return this to your student so that they can see the score that they made 
Okay, now that ends our discussion on the use of Google Classroom. If you have any questions, then just comment it in our comment box below. Make sure that you subscribe in our YouTube channel, Gurung Pinoy. You can also follow us on Facebook. That's still Gurung Pinoy. If there is any topic that you'd want me to cover, then make sure that you write that also in our comment box. All right, that's it for today. And good night.